Hi, Duck Reviews here, and today I'm going to review something very cool and nostalgic. I'm going to review the Casino Royale playing cards. The same kind of cards used for the Daniel Craig James Bond movie. Pretty much if you get it in this double case, it means you got it from the DVD bundle. And it's a two-pack. The decks were made by Cartamundi. I think these were around 2006. Yeah, 2006. So. And also before, um, back then when these were available, you could have bought these individually in little blister packs. Anyways, inside the box, this was from the DVD set. It comes with Texas Hold'em rules. And some strategy too. This promotes a aggressive strategy and tells you what's the best hands to play aggressive with and all that. Comes with a Casino Royale poker chip. This is cool. It says Casino Royale on it. It's $100. Really good quality. Let's see. I have a downward angle here. Move mini. Okay. Anyways, on to the cards. I love James Bond, by the way. So when I watched Casino Royale, I was like, I want those cards. I recently bought a collector's, not collector's, a, a collection set. There's a, a collection set on Blu-ray where you have all 24 James Bond films. Anyway, it's a card of Mooney deck. These are the front. comes with um, the two-pack. comes with red and black decks. Here's the back. On top it says Casino Royale. Over here it says Casino Royale. Casino quality linen finish. So let's look at the red one first. These have, ooh, these have Cardamundi standard faces. So if you have the Ace brand playing cards, it's the exact same faces for that. The only difference being the Ace of Spades. This is what it looks like here. Otherwise, your standard Cardamundi Ace brand playing card faces, including the Joker. Here's a Joker in case you haven't seen the Ace brand playing cards. This is typically supposed to be an ad card. It's ad card space, but they don't need to advertise anything with this. All right, and here's the back design. It's got a full bleed red. This is nice. So it's Casino Royale on the back, just like in the movie. As far as quality goes, these are very nice cards. I'd say it's almost comparable to the Ace brand playing cards, but like not a notch better. It, it is better than the Ace brand playing cards, but not by much. These cards have a nice deep embossed finish. I won't be able to capture it on camera, but these air pockets are really deep in comparison to the Ace brand cards. And I don't know why, it's just what it is. With that said, because it is very deep, when I have dust, when I was playing with this, uh, when there's like dust, the dust does cap, get caught inside the air pocket. As far as like the paper feel goes, it is uh, comparable to Ace. Anyways, because the large air pockets, it might feel scratchy when you first get it. I know these cards felt a little scratchy when I first got it, but after playing with them, they feel good. Yeah, very smooth. It's got a soft stock.
If I was a magician, I would love to use these. Well, I am a magician. If I was a magician with a gambling routine, I would love to use these to get the full bleed back. And there we go. With the ribbon spreads, here I'll try to stay as quiet as possible. You can kind of hear some scratchiness. It doesn't bother me, but here we go. So that's what it sounds like. But I did even out the finish by just shuffling them in. And this has a really nice shuffle feel. Anyway, the pharaohs, here we go. Here's a giant fan. And here's a giant fan the other way. So, full bleed red. So that's the red deck. Here's the black deck for comparison. Here it is compared to the red one. I prefer the red one personally, but here's black. It is black, it's not blue. Yep, good, same shuffle feel. I have not played with this one as much, so these ones feel a little scratchy. But I know after I break this one in, it'll be cool. Anyways, I got this on eBay. I used to have a deck before, but I didn't really care too much about it. 2006, yeah, that time period, I wasn't really into magic tricks, or cardistry, or anything. There you go. Aesthetically, it's, as far as faces go, completely the same as the red deck. So here's some more flourishes with the black one. Yeah, under pressure is a little difficult with this. Yeah. But otherwise, Cardamundi. Yeah, hit a home run with these. These cards are really good for its time. 2006, yeah, these are great. These were printed, I think, in the U.S. Uh, manufacturing plant for card immunity, not the European one. Because it says made in Tennessee in the bottom, so I'm just assuming. Another thing to note, if you do buy them individually, these do not come with card seals. They just don't. They don't come with card seals. That's what it is. And just uh, keep that in mind when you are buying them. Like I said, I bought it on eBay. These are getting a little expensive, so get them while you can because they're not going to be around for a while. And after James Bond comes out, the new one, it's going to be more hype. And I don't think these will be around for long. Um... That said, I'm looking forward to the Theory 11 James Bond cards. Really excited about those. So that's why I whipped these out to, uh, yeah, just part of the excitement. I hope you enjoyed my deck review, and I hope you have a good day.